play. Rub it up. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, what a way to start off a video by laughing. Cause he's in the tub. That's that's right. Hey, welcome back to welcome back to Alan Wake. Waking up in the crash. Thank you for the kind welcome. You're welcome, Skippy Granola. You're you're very welcome. I do feel welcome. I couldn't remember how I got there. Alan, you crashed your car, bro. You crashed your Lincoln MXT. Darn it! Why didn't the sync system save you? I'd have to find out. Oh darn it! My my phone was dead. Damn you, U.S. Cellular. I should have gotten Verizon. If only we were on Verizon. <laughs> America's largest LTE network. That's right, yeah. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Oh, Same great. Book brought back my fight so it's the guy with the... I didn't like it. The guy with the lodge. I didn't like the guy's smug face. I preferred my either. smug face on the covers of books. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm look, writer, it's, uh, Stucky's Gas Station. That's oh. that guy from the last video that had the diarrhea. Yep. Yeah. Ran out without wiping his bum. He t he was wearing overalls, too, so it's like... like bet. It had to take some effort to not wipe. It like a long oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah. So Alan's head is all bloody, which I think is kind of cool. That, like, they actually changed his character model to be all fucked up. Mm-hmm. Which is, which is a nice touch. I, I like that even though it's foggy, you can still kind of see in the distance. Like, if you looked Damn. on the right back there, you could see uh, a blinking red light in the distance. And uh, that was the radio tower. Or uh, that, that radio man has his nightly show. Yeah. Also, I don't think Al, Al is going to get his uh, deposit back on that car. <sighs> what a bummer. I know. What what a bummer. Those, those well, as we all know, the Lincoln MX whatever the fuck is a very, uh, it's a very affordable car. Low, low money down. It is. Yeah, but, low, I mean, very low interest fantastic rate. fit and finish. Absolutely. For the price. When it's crushed like a tin can like that, man, it, it just looks it just looks great. I mean, it still looks sleek. God, what a good SUV. Hello? <laughs> Someone there? <laughs> oh, thank God, some toilet paper. I need to shit real bad. Ooh. After all this coffee from a manuscript entitled Departure. <laughs> that was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. Because of I my writer's block. <laughs> I hadn't written it. It could I have been the concussion, but I thought this was in the same fucking page, excellent the writing. Was <laughs> it was definitely the concussion. <laughs> so, uh another collectible, uh, a story important collectible in Alan Wake, uh are manuscript pages. This is the last time you're going to see this screen uh, in the Let's Play. Departure by Alan Wake. Every manuscript you pick up gives you a page of Departure, which you can then read, and Alan will narrate it for you in his the Christian Bale voice. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It oh, awesome. <laughs> he grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. But I was Alan Wake. Blood, 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 and a little bit of sick. <laughs> Th thank you, thank you for that. I I don't know if I don't know if that's how Alan Wake would have written it. He he would have written it, you know, with more complexity, possibly more complexity than necessary. He would have used the the phrase "crimson rivulets." <laughs> oh, I've I've seen that phrase in places. That, Probably that... in every fantasy novel slash slasher Please. novel slash garbage answer. literature. Crimson rivulets. That was my stage name back when I performed <laughs> as an exotic dancer. <laughs> you 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 must have had a very dangerous act. <laughs> it uh, let's just say. The first two rows definitely got wet. Oh, thank God. Light in the darkness. I wonder oh. where we've seen that motif before. Five what a seconds metaphor. ago. What's, what? a, what's, a met, what's a metaphor? Nothing. What's a matter for you? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> 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 Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. 
This lunch play brought to you by Vaudeville. <laughs> hey. It's actually Vaudeville Wireless. Hey, you! <laughs> There's been an accident. I need help. The largest rubber chicken network in North America. <laughs> cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Oh, dear. Ducky. Please. To beat you. non reflectable Reservation. Deposit required. That diarrhea must have really gotten to him. Poop early, poop often, kids. <laughs> eat, eat healthy or else you'll turn out like Carl Stucky and become like a dark, like, axe-wielding maniac. Yo, so here's here's something that I that I really, really like um, about the, the enemies in this game. Yes. They're they're all they're all messed up. And, you know, they're talking to you and they're trying to threaten you, but they're just using phrases that they would have used in their everyday life. It's like they got this weird disconnect between the dark presence and, and who they are, and it's just like, you can you can tell the struggle. It's really cool. Yeah. I, I am learning quite a bit right now about cabin rental in Bright Falls. Absolutely. See? I, want, I wonder if that fence that Alan's wife broke when she fell into the water will, like, cost him for, like, property damage. <laughs> yeah, they're the not getting this deposit this. back. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Je you know, Nicholson, The Shining? I'm a good writer. I make a reference to horror. Brought to you by Energizer. Brought to you he by just, Energizer. He just really loves Stephen King. Like, I think Stephen King's the only author that he's ever read. <laughs> like he he's one of those people that you see sometimes on the internet where they like explain Stephen King's shitty books as like oh he was just in a bad mood when he wrote that so it sucks so it's okay that it sucks yes in Nordic walking huh it's it's very good exercise oh it's an amazing workout I one thing I like about that like very short phone call is is that uh, Alan was able to successfully call the police station because this isn't like taking place in like some like alternate Silent Hill reality like this is taking place in the real world so mm. like the the real world is still there just not in this forest yeah how cool by the way is this it is pretty cool like just god it's got such a good sense of weight and danger to it oh yeah uh, Alan is really uh he's 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 just one man one man with a flashlight. I hope That's that right. he had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Well, he was teleporting earlier, so I don't think he did. Uh, and hey, speaking of teleporting, oh. why what say we go back in time a little bit and check out that manuscript page? Okay. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bringing <laughs> shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. Jesus Christ, Alan. <laughs> well, we get it. You only need the one simile, bro. Willing it to stop coming any closer, suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I pulled a, I pulled a muscle in my shoulders. <laughs> suddenly I was magic. I was holding it really, really, really tight, you guys. You don't even know. I'm so strong. <laughs> Through sheer force of will, I was somehow able to make a flashlight better. <laughs> Fight me, scrub lords, I'm ripped. <laughs> my head pounded. I willed every ounce of my right arm. I never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Well, I mean, you've already done this, Alan. It was, remember in the last video, Max Payne taught you how to shoot people and dive through the air and stuff? Well, that was just a dream. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Man, I wish Alan could, like, do the Max Payne, like, shoot dodging, like, with his flashlight. So, occasionally you will see, well, not you, me, I'm the one playing this game. I'm behind A the wheel. <laughs> Alan Wake will see. Alan Wake will sometimes see uh, painted graffiti on like the walls and stuff, pointing towards hidden caches, which uh, contain very helpful items like flare guns, uh, you know, and generic flares and 
Lots of ammo, sometimes special weapons. Energizer batteries. Energizer batteries. I to go, but I had no choice. That's my Bullet favorite. That's my favorite one of the uh, <laughs> of the product placements because the batteries in this game fucking suck. Oh, they, they blow. <laughs> they last like five seconds. Look at this. Look at how fast his energizer batteries are draining. Yeah, but I mean to be fair, energizer's warranty doesn't, you know, doesn't consider pouring your riderly spirit into a <laughs> flashlight, you know, to be normal wear and tear. Plus, I, look at I that. They recharge true. on their own. That is true. That is true. They're, they're not even solar powered. They're just hand powered. They feel a human being's kinetic energy. Oh, just like me. <laughs> I get energized by holding hands. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid of intimacy, C. Jacobs. <laughs> I'm like Alan. I'm afraid of intimacy. Hey, another jump scare. <laughs> Did that sure scare you? you? Are you sure you don't want to hold my hand? I, I'm holding my own hand. Oh, okay, I'll do that too. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what the fuck do I need other people for? <laughs> you're you're boosting your own spiritual energy right now. You're gonna start shining in a minute. <gasps> I'm summoning a spirit ball. You're you're gonna start Nicholson in the Shining in when a minute. I saw <laughs> Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized oh, that I'd have no to find play a way across. makes Jack a dull old beer. So I, I like that line. I, I really like that line, the the something uncoiled inside my head line, because that that was the game's way of telling you that Alan has just realized that all of this is actually happening, which is kind of cool. Like, mm. they could have had him be like, I realized in an instant that this was no dream. This was reality. This was happening in the real world. I was actually for real fighting the darkness <laughs> with my flashlight and gun in the real world in reality. But instead, they just have that one line. Which is and then I sighed cool. as I drew my katana. As I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing personal, Stucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that water. It's so pretty. It's been, this game came out in 2008. 2008. No, it, didn't. it came out in 2010. <laughs> I yeah. was lying to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that. This, this game is only five years old. No, wait. Yeah. Wait, I'm wrong. <laughs> I was right. It came out in May 2010. I'm a good Let's Player. <laughs> 2010. Good. <laughs> See, that's how you know that I'm ready for this Let's Play. That I forget routine facts like when the game came out. Well, I mean, working with co-commentators is no different from working with animals or children, you know? You gotta be prepared for anything. That's very true. That's why I have a flashlight and a revolver sitting next to me in case I need to shoot my computer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Make sure you shine the light really bright at it, though. That's Yes, that's right. I wish Alan Wake-style flashlights really existed, where you could just, like, will it to, to be more powerful. Mmm, I wish magic was real, too, see, Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> magic isn't real. So. No, you're lying. It has to be. So, so get used to it. Well, if magic isn't real, what about this? Whoa! Flare guns are real, and they are fucking awesome. <laughs> they are. Uh, they probably couldn't melt you into ethereal spirit, though. That probably isn't a function they have. They could if I was a shadow ghost. That's true. If, if you were a shadow ghost, then I suppose a flare gun would do that to you. But, but I'm not, because no, they're magic. You, that's right, and as and we have just discussed, real. not not real. Yep. Yeah. It's fake. By the way... Uh, you might have noticed when I fired the flare gun and previous flare gun uh, firings that enemies will just rag all, all over the fucking place when they die. And that is intentional. It is That is a little trick that Remedy learned from Max Payne. Uh, the, this game uses the same physics engine as Max Payne does, hmm. which is interesting at the same time as it is what? <laughs> like, really? Why not just give you the ability to shoot taken. dodge then? They're taken. But anyway, uh, they, they learned that you can apply the physics of any object to any other object uh, when something happens to it. So when you kill an enemy in this game and in Max Payne, uh, they get hit with the force of a bowling ball by the bullet that kills them. So, <laughs> <laughs> so cra crazy physics, intentional and really cool. It adds a lot more weight. It. It, it would be it less does. satisfying if they just fell over. That's true. 
Also, it makes pretty lights when they're flying away into space. Oh, and they just disintegrate into motes of fairy dust? That's that's right, exactly. They they disintegrate into motes of fairy dust, much like thing that disintegrates here, followed by more <laughs> metaphors for things they disintegrating. <laughs> they they burst into a scintillating cloud as though it's as though it's expelling the darkness into the very ether. <sighs> skippy, skippy, wake. <laughs> oh, I've made I would, myself I sick. I would play that game. I would play Skippy Wake. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Man, if you think Ellen Wake is shitty at running, whew, wait until you see this gangly <laughs> Canadian bastard. <laughs> Oh man, uh, man, he. I think that's like my sixth coffee thermos. Like, yeah. geez, Alan, you have a problem. <laughs> He's. Uh, I'm just amazed that his hand is rock steady <laughs> after six thermoses of coffee. <laughs> it's it's like that episode of Futurama where Fry drinks a hundred cups of coffee. Like when when I get when I pick up the one hundredth coffee collectible, like time will freeze and Alan will defeat the darkness somehow. <laughs> And I'll become Nixon. Okay, okay, yeah. You'll you'll become you'll become Nixon in The Shining. Haru. <laughs> I would I would do the the jowl wobble, but my headphones would fly off. Uh, that's okay. I I understood it in spirit. Ricky Dick Fun Bucks. <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs> oh, good. So now, now we can interact with the puzzle because we have turned on the lights. But oh. let's let's not do that and instead go exploring. No, you can't do that. Hard hat area. That's right. And we need to find a hard hat or a shotgun, I guess. Yeah, that also works. What? That's not PPE. No, it's it's. P P P potential punishing power. <laughs> I turned off the video. I'm done. See you guys later. I didn't know if you'd do it, but you got there. You archive, got us there. Archive this let's play. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Gold mine. Gold mine immediately. <laughs> you know that Eminem song, Rap God. Well, I'm an <laughs> LP God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the shotgun functions like all shotguns in every video game that exists. Uh, it's good up close and does a crazy high amount of damage, but uh, at longer ranges it is effectively useless. But actually, the shotgun in this game uh, works at a surprisingly long distance, so kudos to them for that. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, no complaints. It is a very valuable sidearm. That You, you might have noticed when I used my gun inventory, quote-unquote, there, that uh, Alan can only carry two guns and a flare gun, so you you can excuse me you can only carry the revolver, uh, which I will use right now to interact with another collectible. Can I, towers. I didn't even know those were a collectible. There are so many of these in the game, and and I don't even understand how anyone could find them. They're so tiny. They Nothing don't even pops glow. up for them either. No. Like, how are you supposed to... I think I knocked that one down, but nothing popped up, and I'm like, well, oh, well, I guess that was funny. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, you can carry the revolver, a two-handed gun, and a flare gun, and that's it. You're probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in the... The sky is crystal clear. It's like That's a deep breath. The forest is quiet. It sounded pretty cleansing. It was, yeah. I'd like to try now. <laughs> oh no, Skippy, he's being overcome by the darkness. And it's only the second episode. <laughs> I'm Skippy Granola. <laughs> Let's plays can be fun and enjoyable. <laughs> Welcome back to Bullet Storm. <laughs> oh no, not Bullet Storm. <laughs> no. Waggleton <laughs> Tally Wacker. Tally Licker. Tally Licker. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, man. Toby's a friendly dog. <laughs> Toby's a friendly dog, you guys. Toby's a sweet name for a dumb dog. Uh, there actually is a manuscript page that deals with the fate of Toby the dog, and uh, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a guess as to what happens to Toby the dog and why I will not be showing the manuscript page on screen. Uh, because yeah, that's right. The dog gets killed with an axe. How'd you guess? What? Yeah. The, I believe the line is. Uh, a moment before, a moment after the axe split the trunk of a tree, Toby's head did the same or something like that? It's something incredibly gruesome. I'm looking Gosh. it up right now just so I can... I need to hang on. <laughs> Gosh, Alan Wake. Don't kill dogs in your books, guys. Confused, he growled deep in his throat. The wrong smell came from the nice man. Blind animal terror pierced the dog's brain an instant before the axe followed suit. Wow. Alan, you're a fucking asshole. What a <laughs> prick. Jesus Christ, Alan. He, he, heard, he heard that radio message and he was like, well, that dog's dead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, he's, he is just, he's rude. I'm surprised he didn't throw in the crimson rivulets. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had Whoa, rewritten get the, world. the fuck over yourself, fella. Wow, he is a it, man. An act of creation no, that had rewritten the world. He has oh. no proof to back that up. <laughs> I am I am making I am making the jack off motion right now so hard <laughs> I dislocated my wrist. <laughs> I, I'm making the jack-off motion, yes, too, but it's not because I'm making fun of Alan. Like welcome <laughs> Still thinking about Toby, huh? That's... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, belly burster. Mm. I loved Alien. <laughs> belly burster. That's, that's, a, that's a hell of a claim to make. I mean, I've seen some pretty big hot dogs in my day, okay? But... Did you, did you, did you hear what Stucky just did there? He, he was talking about, like, the, he there was a hot dog called the Monster Dog, uh, at, like, right after you find the manuscript page about the dog that got killed. Yeah. See, that? That's, yeah. That, that was kind of clever. I appreciate that. Uh, but at the same time, you don't ever fight a monster dog, so I'm sad they didn't follow up on it. Also, the sharp point of that knife just bounced off of Alan's head because I was <laughs> dodging when it hit me. Uh, Holy game shit. Mechanics. We're fine. We're fine. He, he, I guess when we said earlier that he was thick-headed, we were not joking. <laughs> hey! <laughs> being a, being a writer in the 21st century gives you real thick skin against, against people who want to criticize you with axes. Right, want to throw Get tomahawks. It. Yeah, Just I... Get my metaphor. <laughs> it was really more of a pun. Oh, well, <laughs> it, there's no difference for Alan. Everything is puns. That's right. A jerk. So, uh, right now I'm playing on normal difficulty, as as we decided upon in the previous video. Yes. And uh, it takes three shots to kill a normal taken, which is good because sometimes because they usually come in multiples of two, so like they they make everything even. So it takes three shots to kill a taken, and there's six shots in the revolver. So like you know you you. You have just enough if you don't miss, which is which is cool. That's that's balanced. Yeah, uh, night nightmare mode gives the taken a little bit more health, not too much, but it's enough to make a difference. Because in nightmare difficulty, they take four shots with the revolver, so you you will always need to reload at least one bullet in every fight. Ooh, which is tense. It's an interesting trade-off. It, it is very interesting. Like, they could have gone, like, full, like, crazy with it and, like, made the Taken take a full revolver magazine refill. Revolver cylinder. That's what cylinder. I meant to say. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, Evil Tim. <laughs> I can me, relate to this. Me too, Stucky. Me too. I was just I was just telling Skippy that I I had some meatloaf, meat before we started recording. Mm. Meatloaf and mashed potatoes and man, it was it was very delicious. And then he burped so loud I could smell it through Skype. 
I apologize. I'm sorry about that. It is quite all right. <laughs> so, uh, we are about to meet a new... Well, we were about to meet a new kind of Taken. Uh, they're basically just dudes in track suits that can run real fast. <laughs> it, they have slightly less health than the normal Taken, but they move a lot faster. So, that that's the, the trade-off there. Right. And we are about to be introduced to my personal favorite part of Alan Wake, mm. uh, the Twilight Zone. It's, yep. it's, it's just the Twilight Zone. More or less. But don't worry about it, because it's entertaining. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton. Einstein. Sagan. Princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. That's so good, man. It's so good. <laughs> love me some Rod Serlin. <laughs> oh, I love him. Even if it, it's... I mean, the, the, the knockoff guy they got for it does a pretty good, like, impression. I don't know. Change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin. I like his shades. So many of you could join me here. He's the cool prof. He, he is the coolest one. He's the one that doesn't give any homework. <laughs> really, the, the Moorcock Institute? Yes. If that's what you want to call it. Sure, why not? Oh, no homework? Andy brings a gun? <laughs> Jeez, what a badass. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please. Is that a real gun? That's not the question I would be asking in that situation. I would be asking, how the fuck do I get out of here? forehead. <laughs> now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, Ooh, yeah, you killed the shit out of that flower pot. You nice even cut. need a flashlight. <laughs> With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I like this because it's a real theory that actually exists that there are like infinite realities and like every time a decision is made like new realities like every single second every nanosecond of a person's life a new reality just splits off. Mm. It, it's an interesting theory. It hurts my head to think about it. <laughs> what I want to know is how many cats this guy killed before he ended up getting to this point. <laughs> Way too many. Did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Don't heckle the man with a gun. Yeah, really. What an idiot. Was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. <laughs> Gaze upon quantum immortality. Whoops. Oh, dear. Poor, poor. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that guy's face. <laughs> Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. Yes. Uh, so good. Curiosity often kills the He is both dead and alive until someone accidentally stumbles on the cord of his magical machine. Yeah, just uh just dead. He's just a dead guy. He's just dead. Yeah, he's just dead now. So that was interesting. That I I there is one of those in every episode of the game. Uh, Alan Wake is divided into six episodes, like a like a HBO series, and uh, <laughs> much like on HBO, uh, there are no commercials. Er, is HBO the one with no commercials? Yes. Much like on HBO, thank you, Skippy. <laughs> there are no commercials, so uh, it's just all Alan all the time. I'm sorry that you have to hang out with him. <laughs> he gets better. He does. He gets better. Right now, he's still a dick, talking about dogs getting their heads chopped up. But soon, soon he will stop, he will gain some humility, I feel. One would hope. Maybe Stucky here could beat it into him. <laughs> it's time for...
for a boss fight. Oh. I mean, you know, for for a murderous shadow man, he's he's certainly full of practical advice. He he really is. Like, I I'm glad that he approves of work safety. I mean, don't don't take risks. You know, like no. it's, it's fine to do your own repairs and such, but uh, don't don't yeah. take. It. You gotta know what you're doing. Sure, slow and steady, right? Measure that's, twice, cut once. That's right. Measure twice, cut off a dog's head once. That's... Oh, boy. Also, don't stand under suspended pine logs. Yeah, that that is a that is a safety regulation that Alan has broken multiple times in this very episode. Well... I see a coffee thermos. Oh, boy. <laughs> I see a naughty writer boy not wearing his steel toes and hard hat. Shame on you. Well, he he does have enough body protection. He's wearing like three coats. Yeah, I mean that's something, but it's <laughs> it's not gonna save him if a if a pine log rolls onto his foot. That's true. That's very true. Or if he gets his head chopped open by an axe. Is this guy invisible? Uh, so Stucky Stucky is a special kind of Taken. Uh, occasionally there will be like boss fight Taken, quote unquote. The game has real boss fights, but the, this is as close as the normal enemies can get to bosses. He, he can teleport around a lot, and he has a lot of health. That's basically his thing. And an axe. Joke's on him, though. Oh. We've got a shotgun. Uh-oh. Good night, Stucky. Rip. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights the gas <laughs> Wow. Okay. I'm gonna kill so many hitchhikers in my dreams now. Just, oh my goodness, I'm <laughs> going to have so much PTSD from this <laughs> Cox's shotgun. Now I understand why my wife is afraid of the dark. <laughs> so you can open that gate uh, while you are fighting Stucky, and uh, I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to kill him. It, when you're fighting him, it opens way, way slower. But it does still. I recognize the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first <laughs> arrived with Alice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That's the final boss of the game, right there. I bet. That deer fucking, fest. That fucking deer. I fucking love deer fest. Woo! After deer fest. Yeah. Just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. I get a text the message. <laughs> Ding. Itself. It's Alan Wake. That's right. That's that's it's Alan Wake calling me, being like, "Hey, uh, so I'm trapped in, I'm trapped in a nightmare, a nightmare existence where dark creatures are trying to kill me. Can you help?" The deer hey. and I'm like, two weeks "How did you get this number? Who is this? See, I'm hanging up now. Can you pick me up from Bright Falls?" I would not help Alan Wake. <laughs> Oh, look at tough guy here. I wouldn't piss on Alan Wake if his head was on fire. <laughs> I'm C. Jacobs. That's, he can go me. suck an egg. That's a good. That's a good impression of me. Thank you. I'll keep writing. Hey, it's Ilka Billy. Hey, still cabin. handsome. Outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence. There's a lot of darkness inside the story too. <laughs> Why don't you kill another dog, you bastard? Yeah, really. The story will come true if I stop. She's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Probably, Alan, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Nordic walking! Nordic walking! My favorite yeah. advertisement. I want that poster. <laughs> Man, what an asshole hogging all the walking sticks. <laughs> I bet that's a picture of Alan. Yep. No, I need two pulls. I needed the pulls for myself because of my arthritis. <laughs> Sitting down at my desk and writing all the time because I am a famous writer who everybody loves really takes it out on you. <laughs> Bright Falls Sheriff Station. He didn't even pick up the phone. <laughs> That's okay, they had speaker. <laughs> I like that she has her hand on her gun. Of Sheriff course. Understandable. Are... I'm Alan Wake. But listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, what? I can take you there, huh? okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Several, as a matter of fact. I got hit in the head with okay? a knife, but I shrugged it off. Listen, <laughs> we'll figure this out. 
Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Also, put these cuffs on Mr. and get in the back. Have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realize seen I him? Tell her I've seen his insides splatter all over the ground. <laughs> and then she wouldn't have helped me without it. Well, I wouldn't say I've seen him, unless you mean the darkness that exists inside <laughs> all of us. Wow, wow, Skippy, that is, that is deep, man. I'll just get in the car now. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much did you say you had to drink today, sir? I had like ten cups of coffee. Just need to see the lake. I need to see the lake. <laughs> well, shit. Gosh. Plot's thickening like a fine lobster beast. A candy colored clown, they call the Sandman. So that's it for episode one of Alan Wake. Uh, after every episode, there is an end slate title card with a licensed song that plays. Uh, I might have to do some weird shit to get around copyright for, for these on my YouTube account so that I still have a YouTube account after the videos are uploaded. So, uh, you know, if they sound a little bit off from their real counterparts, that's why. Because I had to do some weird shit. Because C. Jacobs had to sing them. That's right. That's right, yes. But, uh, Skippy, I, I think that uh, these end slates for people watching the uh, uncut commentary yes. are a, a good chance for, for you and I to, to recount what happened in the episode and speculate on the future of Alan Wake. Talk about how much we love the game and how, how erect we are about it. Mm. I think Alan was really quick to go directly to Murder Town. He really was. He was like immediately like, well, they're crazy and I have a gun, so... Well, here we go. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> Jack Thompson was right. Video games straight me to kill. <laughs> well, Alan, Alan does mention that, that he went to the firing range. So apparently he, he is a believer in the Second Amendment. Absolutely. And I guess that also explains why he, why he has such a good knowledge of guns and such. He's a big Ted Nugent fan, <laughs> obviously. One thing I like is that uh, Alan doesn't actually have like very good aim. Like, all of, like no matter where you hit a taken, they they will take the same amount of damage. There's no like headshots or whatever. And right. if you if you look, uh, if you're aiming at the taken, you will hit it. It's just that Alan won't hit it like right where you're aiming. Which which is cool. I, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a nice little attention to detail. Yeah, that he's not like. You know, a skilled marksman, but he's, God, he's, he's not hes not a shooter game protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> he's still got a lot of the old bloodlust up in there, though. That's thats troubling. Man, he... It, yeah. It, I, I gotta say, there's an interesting, interesting way to throw you right into the action. Just be like, fuck it. Now he's in a car and he has amnesia. Go for it. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the game's pretty well... Plotted. There, there are some incongruities that you kind of have to bite down on, but uh, I like, I like the pacing. I think it had yeah. a pretty good pacing. We, we spent half an hour in the previous video uh, learning the story and characters, and we spent half an hour in this video fighting uh, darkness and monsters. Yeah. So thanks for watching. So long, everyone. I'll see you, see you next time in uh, episode two of Alan Wake, Taken. Ooh.